Welcome back to Organically Design. Today we will be conquering deep cleaning my master bedroom, closet, and bathroom. And I'm also going to be doing a complete reorganization of my bathroom. So right now I'm just using my disinfectant spray, which is not only good for disinfecting, but it's great for getting stains out. So I'll be sure to link that video below for that recipe, but let's get into some cleaning. If you saw my daily cleaning routine video, you'll no notice a little bit of a difference in how I deep clean and do a quick section cleaning. When it comes to deep cleaning, I do it in kind of small sections because I'm completing things. And then also a lot of times whenever I deep clean, I'm decluttering things as well because I do like to go through things. So I really wanted to just go section by section in here. And you can also see that there is just not a lot of space to maneuver around in here. So there's going to be a lot of bad angles probably in this video. But when it comes to these little tiny narrow openings, for our room and the shape of everything and the shape of our bathroom, which y'all will see soon. You will totally see why that can be a little bit difficult, but I do break it down in little tiny sections. Like I did the closet, I do this side of the room, I'll do the middle and then I'll do the other side and then I'll move in. Um, it does take a little bit longer because Normally when I do my section cleaning, like I'll touch one tool. So I'll do all the dusting at one time, all the wiping down at one time. But when it comes to deep cleaning, it's just not going to work like that because I'm taking things out and wiping everything down and dusting everything. But I will say I just absolutely love my Swiffer extended extended duster um, and y'all will see it get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier as this video goes on, but let's get back to this cleaning process. So sleep is cool, makes my body move, can't get 
so I'm going to kind of walk y'all through the bathroom because that's the big organizing project today. So these are some medicine cabinets and so they are completely full. Um, and I just want to clean everything out and completely reorganize so before I even clean the bathroom because I want it clean before I organize I am going to empty everything out of this bathroom and put it in the bedroom um, is why I clean in there first and then we're going to clean and then sort things as we put them back in that's going to be the easiest thing and I do have a lot of stuff I probably need to get rid of um, like my little drawers and things are pretty full, so I'm just going to kind of revamp some of this. The last time I organized this was, um, probably, I don't know, last year sometime. So, you know, as time goes on, you kind of have to revamp everything. So I probably reorganize stuff like once or twice a year. Um, some things are major like this one today and then some are kind of like just minor little separators or something and don't judge for all the laundry that is literally like four and a half five days of laundry we we each wear like two to three outfits a day I know that sounds super wasteful but between work working out and sleeping we go through a lot of clothes so we just have not much in that giant closet to empty out it's mainly in the medicine cabinet and under the sink um in here this is a lot we are eventually going to renovate both bath well, actually all three bathrooms and our kitchen but for right now we moved in here a couple years ago so we just left it how it is and doing outside stuff first I have a lot of, one reason I hate the shower, I wish it was a shower tub combo actually, but it's because that staining you see, I can't get rid of it. Like I've tried everything, so I'm going to try my oven cleaner this time, which is a vinegar baking soda mix with a little bit of Dawn, and we're going to try to see if that's going to work for me, but I'm not sure. And then like all these fixtures, like that one's broken. All these fixtures are going to be coming down at some point. I don't know why people put, the people before I was like put these bars above each one of the toilets. I don't know why. But let's get to the fun stuff of emptying out this whole bathroom, cleaning it, and reorganizing. I'm feeling a little obnoxious about how much was in my bathroom. Look at this. What? So, yeah, I don't think this even fully like shows how much it is. 
My path is so clear and I'm walking it now. I think all the haters are starting to doubt. While they hated in the first place, it's hard to figure out where all of that came from. It's a shame, son, could have come along, but you're digging your grave. Someday we can set aside our differences. And you can chill in my villa, sipping on expensiveness. Slacker with the bitterness. Relax, the battle is over. Let me bury the axe. Set down your blades, dull your tongues. We out of the ring, so off with the gloves. And let's shake hands like men do. I don't need to rub it in. What I've been through is clear, I'm the winner. But you can win too. If you let go of the hate, it's so simple. It's songs for the winners, never giving up. Do y'all ever get like super determined when cleaning something like you are not going to let it go until it is where you want it to be? Well, that was totally the shower. So I went through the baking soda, Dawn and vinegar. I just like splashed the Dawn on there, splashed the baking soda on there and then splashed the vinegar on there. And I completed this process about three times and the tools I'm using is a brush from the Dollar Tree. I love their scrub brushes. And then also to get into the, like the little seals in between, I was using the Dollar Tree denture brush. It is great for those little, little tiny crevices and corners, especially in tubs and showers. It just really gets in there. Whereas those handle brushes just don't quite get in there. But another thing is, I'm like really weird about what I will clean with a rag that I'm using and what I won't. When it comes to like baseboards and stuff, I dust them and then wipe them in the bathrooms because the dust like sticks. But I will wipe down a sink and the faucet and everything with a rag, but I will clean the inside of the sink with a disposable wipe. And the same goes for parts of the toilet and things. Are y'all like that too? Let me know in the comments, like, what do you use reusable rags on? And what do you absolutely use disposable products for? So you just have to add in here that in any organization project, you are going to be constantly moving things around to see how things fit for one. And like in these medicine cabinets here, I'm working on my husband's side right now. I have to think and take in consideration the person that I'm organizing for. So what is going to work for him best? What is he going to grab for the most? I need to put that at eye level and 
in this medicine cabinet, that's going to be kind of more those everyday products that he's touching on. And then what I put directly below the sink there is going to be things that are used very often. And then in the closet behind, those are going to be items that he's going to use here and there as refills and towels, rags, things that you're not grabbing every single day. But in any organization project, think about the client that you're organizing for or yourself if you're organizing for yourself and take into account, okay, what is going to be most efficient for me? And say my husband, like this goofy dude right here, but take into consideration like who you're organizing for and what is going to suit them. And then you kind of work the whole organization process around that. If y'all see a lot of hand waving and pointing, there's like one of two things happening. I am either singing and dancing to the music like here, or I am totally talking to myself because I talk to myself in the organization project like, okay, Lindsay, is this working here? No, that's not working. Is this going to be efficient? Is this going to be easy for me to grab? Is this going to be easy for him to grab? easy to find? Is it going to be too hidden? Do y'all talk to yourself when you're cleaning or doing a project to kind of like talk yourself through it out loud so you can kind of hear the process like actually aloud? So let me know in the comments below if you are that type of um, project completer. If you're talking to yourself and if you're stopping for break dancing and things like that, not really break dancing, but taking a break to dance and just enjoying the process. So um, you will see me doing a lot of pausing and looking around. And um, what you can see is I am talking to myself the whole time through this process. And if I'm not, then I'm singing and dancing.
So it's late at night and I finally finished all the laundry and got it put away. I did not film for that um, because in between I was helping my husband put away his new gun cabinet. So you can see that there. That looks different from earlier today. And just kind of walking through, showing y'all all the cleaning that y'all joined me for today. And so, nice, fresh bedding. Don't y'all love those, like, first couple of nights in fresh bedding? I just love the way it feels. I hate washing the duvet cover and down comforter just because it is such a pain to put back together but definitely worth it but yeah bedroom is all done you see my little bins my husband has bins too underneath his nightstand that's where we keep like our go-to like house shoes or the shoes that we wear like constantly when we're walking around. And then I have a little bin of warm socks because I have temperature issues in one of my legs. And so sometimes I need those to kind of help regulate the temperature. But next I'm going to show y'all the bathroom and all of the work that has been done in here today. So all of the organizers that are new in the bathroom are all from Dollar Tree or Target's little dollar spot. But here is my side. And yeah, those come like a two pack at the Dollar Tree. I like to save money where I can. And then these set of glasses, I got six of them all together. Those were, I think, $4.99 from Ollie's. So that's just kind of like me and my husband's cabinet. And then there is his. Again, these are like the old school ones. I think I'm gonna replace them with the ones I have in mine. Um, just so everything looks the same, especially since at the top here I have one of the little pencil holder ones to hold um, the little saline packets. So that's his. And just I love keeping everything off the counter besides like the basic stuff. So we'll start in the cabinets and I cannot wait until we renovate. I just have like a little basket of medicine down there for one of our kiddos. And then this is my husband's. So these stacking bins are from Target Dollar Spot and I got, ended up getting six of them. Because four I'm using in here and two I'm using in the kids' bathroom when I redo that. But this just has his shaving creams, um, his mirror for when he shaves and everything. And then you can't really see it, but this is his little shaving bag down here. But really like minimized everything. And then we're kind of moving over to my stuff. I have three of these. These are from the Dollar Tree. I really like these. Um, so just what I did, and y'all saw me do it, is I have just each a different size of tampons and things so that I can easily grab out of the bin um, whichever size that I need. So I kind of have like the most used to the least used, and then I can just refill them as I go. And then I minimize a lot over here too. I do have a lot of hair products that I use regularly. So again, this is another stacking 
two stacking bins from the dollar spot or bullseye playground at target so it's just like my most used hair stuff here so i got rid of a bunch and there was a couple things in here i don't know why they were in here but they were my daughters so i moved it to their bathroom and then at the bottom it's so dark but i've got my hair straightener and then straightening glove um for when i do the curling um, like a heat protectant glove and then come on focus my hair dryer is down there as well so that's the cabinets and then I want to show y'all my nice freshly cleaned shower curtain and I soaked my liner I got most of the stuff off I need to just replace it really but um kept those hanging up the same my scalp massager the same my husband's stuff's over there and then these are at the target dollar spot too are these hanging little bins and i like that they have a hole here so i was like oh these are going to be perfect for the um shower so i have one on each end and it just has kind of like the facial brush in there and then we'll go to the other side so y'all can see that one. And that one has my razor and my foot exfoliator. So just have those in there. But yeah, so nice clean bathroom. And then the last part is going to be this closet and oh my gosh what a change so obviously look at that no more laundry I did it all I folded it I put it away my cleaning kit remaining the same and then I have where I keep my toilet paper and booty wipes and then this is normally more full I just haven't refreshed it yet but body wash, bar soap, um, husband's side, my side. And then this normally has extra stuff, but right now it just has one extra of the foot powder. And then it has my extra medicine back there and nail stuff. So kind of the things in baskets off to the sides, I just use a little less often or they're refills. So I kind of made this kind of like an overstock cabinet and something that I just don't get to that much. But again, these are from the Dollar Tree. So if you see those, those are from the Dollar Tree. These I've had for years. So I just have like overstock Q-tips and then emery boards and um, cuticle nippers and nail clippers. And then I have the oral care overstock. I kept everything pretty much the same. So I didn't have to change any of my labels. So I just keep extra toothbrushes and a dental kit. And then extra deodorant. Again, normally I'll have some in there for my husband. And then razor refills. But this is like the thing that I'm like most excited about. Ch change. Is this. I got this acrylic um little spinner organizer oh my gosh like a lazy susan organizer um i got that in the target dollar spot for five dollars just like those gray bins for five dollars too and then these pink lidded glass jars came in a three pack for three dollars and all i did y'all saw i organized all of my little hair things and then it's this little rod coming out the middle was perfect for my scrunchies. I don't keep much. I just have like a few like little basic colors that I like to wear. And then we've got this bin with some of like, that's what I wear when I'm doing my makeup. And makeup sponges, remover sponges. And then some face products. So, sheet mask, regular mask, 
pimple cream, pore strips, stuff like that. And this is kind of like my overstock drawer. Extra face lotion, loofah, um, little pad for my scrubber, extra shower caps, and cotton rounds. Because I use one of these jars for some cotton rounds in the cabinet like y'all saw. And then these are like the extra little ha larger hair accessories. And then extra lotions back here. My poor sucker and all of its little tidbits. I used one of those little jars again. And then one of those pencil cups I used for my makeup brushes and then my makeup bag. And then we're kind of moving up. And this is low for us right now on the towels and washcloths because I'm currently washing them. But, yeah, I keep white washcloths normally for guests um, and then lots of white towels. So I have a lot more. And then the colored rags are me and my husband's. And right now I have, like, pink and peach and he has, like, green um, just so that we don't accidentally use each other in the shower because I don't like doing that. And then extra hand towels. And then up top is just extra, like, a nebulizer and things. And then beach towels, um, the sunscreen and after sun lotion. And then the adult beach towels. And then over there is, like, my heating pad. And then I have some storage washcloths in the back that actually my late nanny made so um yeah I keep those so that is the tour if you liked coming with me to clean and organize today be sure to leave me a thumbs up before you leave out of here and if you like anything cleaning organizing and creating be sure to hit that subscribe button as always, stay organically you and have an amazing rest of your day.